We now have uh, the city council, city manager, uh, to issue any encouraging statements that they may have to recognize staff tonight. Mr. Kaufman? I just want to take the opportunity. We had a great festival in our community, and uh, the, the folks behind the scenes that <laughs> hold us up and do that infrastructure for us are so much appreciated. That's the, the parks department, the street department, the electric department. Um, I, I don't have a, an exact amount of how much time the electric department actually invested in, you know, running the wires and setting things up for the, the, uh, the, uh, chamber with their event on all the vendors and of course the chamber has an electric company that's on staff to oversee the safety of all that but for the for the consumer end of it but the electric department has done an outstanding job taking care of that uh, the the parks department you, you know we just take it for granted the bathrooms are always clean that's because someone is always cleaning them we had thousands of people on our square and and every uh, like clockwork, those restrooms were taken care of and clean. Um, trash removal. We we saw 88 hours of 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 people doing cleaning during the event. Uh, continuous picking up trash out of the dumpsters on the square. Uh, it's just amazing the the work that, that the parks department does, and and the street department uh, equally so. They put out all the the barricades. All the no parking signs on the bridge on 377 Pearl Street Bridge, all the no parking signs in neighborhoods where they protect it for, so we can have a fire lane for the fire truck in the event we have a, an event with a fire. It, it, just all these little things come into play. And it, at 5:30 this morning, they were out with the street sweeper. They were picking up those barricades and those signs and, and making our town back to normal. There was all kinds of litter here that was picked up. It's just incredible. The work that the public works that includes the street department and then the parks department all that is taken care of on i just wanted to give a shout out to them for that and uh, they power wash the sidewalks on the square every monday morning before it opens it's just amazing so that that all goes to making a very nice uh weekend and then our communication department many of you may be aware that they live streamed it but pat abel john back and zach maxwell are active volunteers with the communications team and they all worked on the 4th of July to, to help live stream that event and, and coordinate it. And we had like a thousand viewers the day of and we're expecting about 2,500 views of the highlights video that our staff will put together. But anyway, we're extremely grateful to the volunteers that were involved. The, the police, I can't begin to brag about how much they do for us. I've been told that when they interview for the job for to be a Granberry police officer, they're told that you'll never get a Fourth of July off, because they won't. They they work the whole time. Those those guys are out there and gals are out there in that hundred degree heat with body armor on and long sleeve shirts. Sometimes they get to wear the shorts, depending on if they're on bike patrol or not. But they are dressed with protective gear. And I, I'm just thankful that nobody overheated through this event, and they, they served us with, with great honor. And, wow, how about trying to get all these people out of here after the parade? And you saw the, the volunteers with the CPAA, the Citizen P Patrol, uh, you know, they're out there working and helping. It all goes together for a whole lot of people to make a, a great event in our town. Our visitor center was busy. You know, Tammy and her team do a great job facilitating. Listen, the beach had over a thousand people at the city beach, and they were standing in line waiting for people to leave so they could go in. We had tourists that had came from two miles or two hours away to be at the city beach, and couldn't get in because it was so full. So that's a huge need for volunteers. You know, we got beach monitors. Another successful year. To my knowledge, nobody on this lake drowned during the holiday, which is a blessing. But with all the people and all the things going on and, and all the activities that could cause to, for accidents, we, we none notable. So uh, a lot of, lot of people, a lot of working parts, and I'm excited to be a part of a great organization that, that put that together. So all of you people, if I miss somebody, please forgive me, but all you people that had something to do with that know that you're appreciated by this council and by myself we really do thank you for all that you do and police officers hats off to you 
for keeping us safe. It was incredible. We had contingency plans in case something happened. I'm thankful for that. Things that go on that people don't have a clue about are taken care of in ways that, that need to be taken care of, discreet, behind the scenes, in the event of. And so thank you all again for everything you do. Thank you. Council, other comments? I know many of you were at the parade. I happened to uh, be in town around the square at 7 o'clock uh, on uh, the night of the 4th. And I was up at 6 o'clock this morning on the square. It was nasty filthy when I left uh, last night because of all of the just, just things that people drop. This morning, it's already cleaned up. And Mr. Kaufman, it gives you an understatement uh, when he says, well, this is, you know, this is just uh, what we do. It's not what we, just what we do. This is planned. It is, uh, it's put in the book. It is, act, it is acted on. And, man, let me tell you, it is appreciated. Thank you, sir.